uh, I wish I knew what the DMRE should do to fast track mining applications because clearly they have been a huge constraint on the development of the mining sector in South Africa. Apparently two and a half thousand mining applications were uh, advanced last year and none was processed um, and one gets the impression that it's the leadership of the DMRE that is actually deliberately stalling the process for because of an ideological uh, obsession with uh, um, uh, trying to keep control over the um, allocation of opportunities in mining to for people who are well connected and also there is an obsession with certainly in the coal mining sector to um, not to uh, uh, destroy the coal mining sector for fear of job losses. So there is a lot of pressure also from trade unions trying to encourage the DMRE to maintain a stranglehold by the government over all these uh, mining uh, potential mining operations. What a government needs to do to attract the private sector is to just open up its, uh, the opportunities for the private sector to get into uh, improving the way the SOEs are man being managed by imposing less bureaucracy in terms of the uh, processes by which the private sector actually gets involved and to show a little more enthusiasm to get the private sector involved to try and improve the running of SOEs. And it's absolutely critical that it does so. Um, there is unfortunately a stigma attached to the P word privatization um, and private uh, um, involvement in trying to alleviate our economic and infrastructural problems and that is uh, proving to be a very big constraint on developing um, a lot of our um, ability to provide energy and logistics and a decent rail network and many of the other operations that, that other SOEs also the same kind of problems are, in, are incurred. If I were to be finance minister for a day, I would go out of my way to obtain private sector involvement in the country, uh, finance and give them the opportunity of also having seats on boards of these entities so as to exert more accountability and oversight. And I think you would see a huge change in a very short space of time in uh, the way in which these uh, um, SOEs were operated.